Do you know that the visa lottery is a solution in search of a problem of Australian immigration? Dr. Abul Rizvi criticizes a new visa lottery system, stating that it is poorly planned and will cause problems. The Minister for International Development in the Pacific, Pat Conroy, recently announced that the Australian government will introduce legislation for a visa lottery for people from Pacific Islands and Timor-Leste. For detailed information watch this video till the end and yes like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Warm welcome from Brain Drain Consultants to our immigration information and news channel, A2Z Immigration Updates. The Australian government plans to introduce a permanent residence visa lottery called the Pacific Engagement Visa, PEV, with 3,000 places set aside each year to build communities with strong ties to the Pacific region. The claim that a visa lottery is necessary to build strong Pacific communities in Australia is false, as permanent residence places have been allocated for specific regions for decades. The visa lottery may not limit the exodus of skilled Pacific Island people, as they are the ones Australian employers are most likely to hire. The Department of Foreign Affairs and Trades DFAT, lack of knowledge about visas in Australia's immigration policy may be influencing the minister's decision. A visa lottery is generally not designed to achieve specific policy objectives and is not an effective way to select permanent residents. Applicants who succeed in the first stage of the two-step visa scheme must secure a job offer from an Australian employer and meet health, character, and English language requirements before entering the visa lottery. Applicants must also be between 18 and 45 years old. The PEV may be intended to encourage temporary workers under the Pacific Australia Labour Mobility PALM, scheme to return to their home country after securing a job offer in Australia. The government may hope this will reduce the number of PALM scheme workers who apply for asylum due to exploitative employers, but this places employers in a position of power over employees. The design of the PEV risks further exploitation of PALM scheme workers and could discourage them from complaining about exploitative behavior. The details of how the PEV will work are still being debated across government agencies. Budget costings suggest that PEV recipients may have immediate access to social security benefits and that Commonwealth agencies have little faith in job offers from Australian employers being taken up. The cost of social security benefits allocated for 3,000 PEV recipients per year suggests that recipients may not be subject to the standard four-year wait for access to social security. The objectives of the PALM scheme and the PEV do not effectively minimize the risk of worker exploitation or provide a pathway to higher paying jobs for Pacific Island communities in Australia. The long-term goal should be to provide Pacific Island nations with a pathway to permanent residence in Australia to deal with the impact of climate change. The design of the PALM scheme and the PEV should prioritize minimizing worker exploitation and providing a skills development pathway to permanent residence for Pacific Island communities in Australia. We hope you appreciate our efforts to provide important and accurate immigration information. Please share your feedback and suggestions in the comments section. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, to show your support and yes don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you for your valuable time, and we hope to see you again soon with another video. If you need any further assistance or want to discuss anything related to your immigration dreams, then you can book an expert consultation session with our team of registered migration consultants.